When this goes, it goes, by the way. <clears throat> oh, you're not in. you got to go that way, though. Hey, guys, it's Med May and my trusty sidekick. Oh, Vinny's here. So, your camera's set for Shannon. Should I adjust it? What does that mean? It, it needs to go like that because it's, it's set Down for short. Or up? Be up. careful. Yeah, twit. No, no. The camera will tip, will pivot. No, no, no. The camera itself will pivot. Pivot. Oh, good. Pivot. <laughs> and your light's not on. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I kind of like the dark. The, ca the camera was set for Shannon, so it was a little short. Do I need the light on? I don't think so. You look at you look the color of the wall, but I think you're fine. <laughs> it's so funny because in here you don't, but I look there, the color is like very off. Tan. You're not very tan on the computer. Isn't that funny? It's so weird. Okay, hello guys. Welcome into our first ever 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. It's kind of weird for us, but it's been really nice because we were not running to get ready for the show. So that's really good. That helps us to kind of sit down and go, ah. We got to good. eat lunch without choking. And we got a, I got a bunch done this morning. I got some I some kits packed. We got some giveaway shipped out. It's amazing what we can get done with that extra hour. So we appreciate you for giving us that extra hour. Now I did something today that could backfire live on YouTube. <laughs> that's encouraging. It could. So I told everybody on Tuesday, when you watch this video of me making all of my Christmas tags, um, that I would make a holder today live with you guys. It's a style that's been around for a long time. It's nothing new, but I've never made one. And so I thought I would do it live and let y'all kind of see how I, the whole process, start to finish. I don't think it's going to take very long to do. So that's why I was thinking about doing it. Okay, so I'm going to take one of the tags. And I'm not going to take the one that has the ribbon and stuff on it because I don't need that in my way. So I'm going to take one of these tags and get a good measurement. Now I happen to know that this is four and a quarter by two and three fourths because that's the size that we made the, um, the stamp set to work with. But I want to be able to put one of these tags on my little holder on the end and have a quarter of an inch hang off the side. So <clears throat> we're going to start a project start to finish just like I would if you weren't here. If I was getting re one ready to film for you guys, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and write down the measurement a quarter of an inch larger than this See all the way around. Note, Shannon. So four and one half by three is what I'm going to want, okay? And I'm going to want that at a chipboard. So I just kind of make notes. You can hardly see that, but I just, I'm just writing notes. Ooh, you really can't see it up there. But it's four and a half by three chipboard, okay? And I'm going to need two of those. So I put times two because I want one front and back, okay? Then what I'm going to have to decide is how long or how, how much space between my front section and my back section do I want. And I mean, these don't even take up an inch and that's 32 tags. So I'm thinking three inches is gracious plenty, four at the most. Let's do four. That way, if I want to make some more tags that have some dimension, I can do that too. So I'm going to make it four inches long. So that means... I'm going to need two pieces of chipboard that are four inches long. And now I want to decide the height on the side. When we put this together, it all makes sense. It's in my brain. You haven't seen it yet. But when we put it together, you'll say like, oh, I get it. So I want to think, how tall do I want my holder to go up on the side? Two inches makes perfect sense to me. Like, that just makes sense. So I think I'm just going to cut myself a piece that's two inches. And so the side will have a two-inch side rail. And the front will be, it'll be like, it'll be like bookends four inches apart from each other. Four inches is too far. I'm, I'm changing that to three and a half. This is literally how this goes when I'm doing it. <laughs> three and a half is good. Are they getting to see an inside look at your brain? Yeah. Three and a half inches is good. Sorry, two inches high. Three and a half by two. And I need that twice. Yes. Now I have to decide this. So if I'm cutting the base to be four and a half inches wide, okay, and I'm cutting this to be three and a half inches long, I need a bottom that is four and a half by three and a half. Now, don't stress, here's what I do. I put all these numbers down and then I visualize it. So now I'm gonna go, okay, I have a four and a half by three and a half base. So that means I'm wrong. There, I caught my wrong. That's what I needed to do. Here's where I'm wrong. Four and a half is my height. I don't need to do that. I need to do my width here. So I need this guy to be four and a half by three. See how I caught that? No, I need to be three and a half by three. So that gives me three and a half long, three inches wide. So these guys will sit in there. See, you have to visualize. You have to stop and think about it. But even if you mess up, it's just cardstock and paper, right? It's not like we're having to 
like chisel it from stone. <laughs> it's spend all day doing it or something. So let's do some cutting. Let's do some slicing. Okay, so this is my chipboard trimmer, and I happen to know my chipboard trimmer is worn out. And I looked for a new chipboard blade, which I think I have one somewhere, but I don't know where it is. Cannot find it. So we're just going to go with it. So the, I've got some scraps. I want to show you. I don't get rid of my chipboard. Here's the scraps that I pulled out, and I know I can make this happen from these scraps. So let's start with this guy and see if he might be big enough. So three and a half inches. Oh, he's plenty big enough for three and a half inches. So let's do this. Let's cut our first piece down to three inches. This is going to be our base. I'm going to start from the bottom up, okay? So, hey, this blade might not be too bad, actually. Might not be too bad. Thank you for that. Laurie, thank you for that super chat. Ready? <sighs> thank you so much. So I'm just going to run through and cut all these to the dimensions we just measured. It's a little rough. It's a little rough. And so if you have questions or anything, chat. When it's over, I'll go in and put all the dimensions in for you. Aren't you kind? Are you writing them down? You want no, to wait till I get them right? Wait till I get them right. When you have them right, I'll make it correct. Wait till they're right. Okay, look, so my chipboard blade is broken. That's kind of a pain. So we'll do it the hard way. The real hard way because I can't find my knife. Here we go. So I'm just going to run through here. I actually could just use my scissors. Did anybody catch that in my video Tuesday? Totally came out. I left it. <laughs> I've been leaving a lot of stuff in there that I normally, it's so funny. Old May May would not have left. I would have refilmed, reclipped, re I'm like, no, that's not who she is anymore. So what she said, skizzers. Other people probably do too. I think my mama actually calls them skizzers. Anybody else? I've called them skizzers before. All right, so this is three and a half inches wide. Is that kind of like twizers? No, this is three inches wide. Yes, they're always going to be twizers. This is three inches wide. Now I need to make it three and a half. So I'm going to go right here. I wish my blade was not chipped. Three by three and a half. Three by three and a half. You going to trust that? I ain't even fig I ain't even ciphered it yet. We just trying it out. I'm just gonna be rough with this, y'all. That'll work. This is this is how you did it, isn't it? Is this how you did That'll it? <coughs> is it? I took my long shears home last night to cut ribbon oh, for Mary Make It. I can use these. I took them home. And See, cut I didn't go through 194 all pieces of ribbon that, last night. That trimming the edge thing, that's for amateurs. It's for amateurs? You gotta leave it rough. Here's my base. Now I'm gonna see if I can make it make sense for you. So these guys will live like this. Skizzers, twizers, twizers, and acorn. And a corn. A corn. A corn. All right, now I'm gonna cut those side pieces that I need. And those side pieces are three and a half by two. So let's do that. So two inches, I can get them both, I don't think I can, we'll see. Yes, ma'am. I'm telling y'all, I should have looked harder for a blade. I'm almost about ready to just get it a new blade just to be nice to it. Because it's rough. Yeah, there it is, bug, a uh, corn. <laughs> Look how bug wrote it. I know. <laughs> That's funny. Down, down, down. Gemma, I do as many as all the time. I just did an as many as on Tuesday. You guys aren't seeing videos lately, and I'm hearing from you that you're not. You're going to have to go look at the channel because YouTube is doing its own thing, y'all. It's all fine. Use the search. Yeah. It is your friend. Colleen, maybe. Colleen asked if I was going to try to review that new foil tool, foil tool that came out. Maybe. I haven't been doing as many Cricut videos. We use, I use my Cricut. Matter of fact, I've got a lot of projects lined up for it this weekend, starting tomorrow. Um, and I saw that it released, they released that um, tool, but I do, I like what I've seen about it so far. So I might use, I might play with it. I'm not a big foil user. I've tried to be, but I haven't latched on to it. You can ask questions if you want. I just keep looking up and seeing them, so... I'm just answering questions in the comments about products. Gave it a haircut. Gave it a haircut. All right, three and a half. Hey, Tam. Oh, there's skitters in Jen's house. Skitters. Give me them skitters. 
Tamitha. I'm glad you're sneaking. I'm glad. Who's been seeing our design team introductions? We have one. We have, um, let me explain this. We have one more design team introduction tomorrow for our traditional pictorial design team. But on Saturday, we're introducing you, you to our Mente girl. That's what I'm calling her, my Mente girl. So Saturday, you'll meet her. You've already met her before, Sneak Peek. But you're going to meet her again. And it's not Brenda. Because <laughs> I've been over like, oh, it's Brenda. It's not Brenda. But you're going to meet um, her Saturday. Okay, now this is my side pieces. Oh, I thought that was a yawn. You cannot be bored. Are you bored? No, I ain't bored. It looked like a yawn. Look, if I yawn, it ain't got nothing to do with being bored. It's true, it doesn't. It actually does with you. It doesn't. Yes, it does. I yawn. Yes, it does. I'm a yawner. There's a big old question. Ask that one. Did they go good? Wow, we're getting lots of super chats. Thank Yay, you, guys. thank y'all so much. Oh, did we miss one? We got two there. from One from Julie and one from Kim. Thank you, guys. <sighs> Thank you so much. Um, coupons. Coupons. I like the way she spelled it, coupons. Ask that big question that was in. Vince, if you're going to sit in that chair, when questions come in in capital letters, you have to give the people what they're asking for. Okay. If it's a question, I'm willing to answer. Did if you Mr. Jim Sell go good? If you type in capitals and he doesn't read it to me, it's because he knows it's a question I'm not going to answer. So just so you know that. <laughs> I think that it did. Um, I heard from his son either late last night or early this morning, um, checking my emails. And he said that, he said, thank you so much that Mr. Jim had been blessed that, you know, they hadn't been able to sell much this year because of the virus, but he was definitely busy now and they were packing and shipping yesterday is what he told me. So I thought that was pretty cool. Well, look at there. I got those just, just right. All right, I'm going to trim these down a little bit. Another thing you can do is you can take a nail file. If you've got rough edges on your chipboard, and hit it with a nail file. And some people can't handle it. I can handle this. I can't handle it on metal. Ooh, got her oh, already? Mm -hmm. I wonder if I'll get mine. Huh? I wonder if I'll get mine today. You got one on your arm? Yeah, but I ordered two more. Hmm. <laughs> I think it's just two more arms. I have this arm and this arm. Yeah, yeah, I got you on that. I ordered two more because I have to. I'm addicted to them. It's just like hunting boots and camouflage clothes. You can't have too many. Can you put the, the link to Mr. Jim's shop in for me? That way, if you're wondering who we're talking about, the spoon bracelet guy. The spoon guy. Well, Julie Shannon is fixing to post a link to that comment, so you'll have that up here in just a second. Is that better? I see him in there, and you're not asking him. Y'all just going to fuss at him. I, I say it all the time. If y'all want him to ask your question, fuss at him. <laughs> you're scared now, aren't you? Of what? They're going to fuss at you. They ain't well, look, fuss at me. I messed up, y'all. Well, look. It's old Vinny. I messed up already. They used already. to it. I got to cut two more pieces. How did I do that? This is what I do. Three is correct. Four and a half. Four and a half was correct. And I did fours. Is that right? Are you only that much off? Yeah, you're only half an inch off. Okay. Okay, we'll use these for something else. <laughs> Where can they find the uh, design team videos? There won't be videos. They're, they are going to be our pictorial design team. So they're going to be posting on our blog and on our Instagram. And they're going to be doing, i got to think for one second. So this is not big enough. Let me find one that is. Well, now I may have messed myself up big time. Nope, I can do it from here. They will be posting 10 photo pictorials which is really cool. So over on Instagram is one place, okay? And then on our blog. So we'll be posting, on the blog, they may be more than 10 photos, but on Instagram, there'll be 10 photos. You know what part of my problem is? I'm wearing my glasses. Well, yeah. So is your trimmer not getting it done? My blade is chipped and I didn't replace it before we went live and I, I said I should have and I didn't. 
I looked for a blade, couldn't find one. It's my fault. All right, four and a half. I never even opened my arm out to measure four and a half, so here we go. So four and a half, and before I cut, I'm just going to do a check. Somebody said you need to check yes. the bottom, too. The bottom of what? The bottom piece. I already checked the bottom piece. Didn't I? I don't know. Pretty sure I did. All right. So, let's cut this down. Be nice if these matched. Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it be nice? Let's see. <laughs> Cutting through. There we go. All right. So, let's check. We're good here. And we're good here. I thought I had checked the bottom. I wasn't worried about it. I was worried about this part. All right, I can get rid of this guy now because my chipboards are cut. Now I need my regular trimmer. Okay, now we're going to put this guy together using um, binding strips. You guys have made binding strips for me in the past. I'm going to clean this up a little bit right here. But binding strips are just a piece of cardstock that's folded in half and then glued on to hold everything together. I'm being super picky today. Not like me. Hey, Connie wants to know, is the only way to get to the blogs is to go to your website or do you send them out to email? No, you go to the website. We don't send those out. The only thing we send out is a newsletter or special situations. If we have something special going on, we'll send that out. But other than that, you just go to the blog. Okay. Other pieces. So I decided to use some black cardstock from my bin, my scrap bin. So I know I like one inch binding strips because I, I like to have a half an inch to glue. So I'm going to go ahead and cut, matter of fact, I don't have to go that way, I don't think. I'm going to go this way and just cut myself a couple of one inch pieces just real quick. So could you use a guillotine trimmer to, no. to do that? No. Did I or would I? Could you? Oh, you could. I thought you said did I. No, I don't. Yes, you could. My chipboard trimmer usually works know, perfect, but I we I don't know it. much. But I do know the difference in a cricket trimmer and a guillotine trimmer. Good job. Um, yes, you could. I'm not a guillotine fan. I ain't. Especially for paper crafting. Now, I like it the way you use it. For, for industrial strength, yes. But not for how I use it. All right. This is overkill. I'm going to score these now. I'm, the reason I say it's overkill is because I'm going to cut some of these off in a few minutes. Thank you, Susan, for but your remember, super chat. Thanks. <sighs> But remember, I'm not making this as a tutorial. If I were making this as a tutorial, I'd be writing down all these measurements and all these things. I'm just building. So it's a little different today than usual. Um, Pam says, I thought this was the bottom. Aren't, aren't you going high? Nope. I promise y'all. I got it. It's right. You'll see in a second. All right. So I'm going to fold these in half. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the base. Okay. And remember, I'm not making this tutorial style. If I were making this tutorial style, I would have told you how many strips you need at what size you need, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But when I'm just designing, this is how I do it. And then I bring it to you tutorial style. All right, so I got one piece for there because I'm going to be attaching this to that. Okay. So now I need a piece over here. So I'll just lay this piece down. Y'all are really getting to see the jankiness. How it is done. This is it. I will do this first. And then I will bring it to you as a tutorial with final measurements. So you never have to sit through this part. And of course, I wouldn't have done this if it was a big project. This is easy. All right, so that gives me my two side pieces, right? Now I want to hold these up like this. Pauline, she doesn't get upset when she makes a mistake because it's just paper. I don't get upset. It's just paper. I'm, I'm, I don't. So I need two pieces. I need one here. Binding strips are um, cardstock. Yep, just... One inch piece of cardstock, and I scored it in the middle at half. So I need one of these for each end. I'll show you why. So I've got this little strip down here that's going to hold the side up. Then I've got this this here, and I'm going to need one for here <laughs> and one for here to hold the tag front on. Make sense? All right. It will when we put it together. And again, you're seeing it from you're seeing it from my brain. This is how I would prep it to show y'all. Isn't that funny? I think it's pretty funny. Also, I'm using the bottom here to help me measure how much I need. 
I mean the sides because that's where my strip's going to go. Does that make sense? It's going to hold that together. This is probably going to be the hardest thing to follow. This is why y'all like to watch finished tutorials. <laughs> because all the work is done for y'all. The measuring, all the mistakes have been made. Not always. Sometimes I do a mistake and forget I leave it in or don't realize I leave it in. All right, so before I do anything else, I want to do this. I want to make my little snips for this. And I am going to stamp a tag and put it on here. But just to get me ready, I'm just going to kind of cheat this too. We'll stamp in a minute. I'm just going to draw where this angle is on my tag. And I'm doing it with pencil because I can see that. Oh, y'all can see that good too. Then I'm just going to take my snips and come right beside it, a, a healthy eighth, eighth of an inch and go on and make my little tag shape. And I don't need to worry about that because it'll fit. It'll be fine. Then I'm going to do the same thing on this side, but I'm going to use it as my template this time and let it tell me where to cut. So they'll be similar. Nothing's perfect. They'll be, they'll be cousins, not, no, sisters, not twins, or cousins, not twins, or something like that. Y'all know that saying? Jeannie said, y'all, you have expelled them with your tutorials. Yeah, y'all see how we start. You couldn't follow this, could you? I mean, I don't think you could, but I thought it would be neat for y'all to see. I mean, if I hadn't made that one mistake, I'd be doing real well. <laughs> All right, so let's look. So when I would bring this to you, I'd be like, you're going to need two pieces cut la 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 by la la la. <laughs> You're going to need four pieces cut la 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 by la la la. Thank you. You're going to need two pieces cut la 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 by la la la. And you're going to need two pieces cut la 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 by la la la. And then what pound cardstock is that? <laughs> so this is chipboard, but this is about a 65 pound, something like that. All right. So <laughs> do you want me to do it? Shannon, do you want me to give you the measurements? I, I can measure it after this. I don't mind. After the word. So I've worked myself to do this, so let's do it. Let's do this real quick. So you're going to need two pieces of chipboard. Y'all want me to do it for real? Watch this. Watch this. Hey, guys, it's May May, and today we're making a tag holder. We look so professional. <laughs> today we're making a tag caddy. That's what I should have called it, a tag caddy for my gift wrap station at home. Thank I you, have, Sherry. I've already done. Oh, we got another one? No. Sherry says she can tell I'm losing weight. Oh, how nice. I am too, but y'all can't see it because it's down here. <laughs> You're losing it through here, too, though. You also have a really good camera angle today. No, is it high? He is losing weight. It's so funny how many of you have emailed. Yeah, some of you were concerned that I was looking too thin. Wait, let me finish this. I'm being professional. Oh, sorry. I know that's rare. Yeah, well, you know. So you need two pieces, cut <laughs> three by four and a half, and then angle cut to match your tag. Okay. Then you need two pieces, cut two by three and a half, and then you need your base piece cut three and a half by three. Those are your chipboards. Honestly, this would be so much easier, right, when I bring it to you guys. Now you're going to need two. Now y'all see what I go through. When she writes blog posts. Now you're going to need two binding strips cut three and a half by one and scored at one half. So there's those. And then you're going to need four binding strips cut two by one and scored at one half. It's even it's even easier later. Did you say that was four? Yeah. Minutes? It's easier, you know, it's easier other ways. All right. I always like to do this, okay? I always like to take some bulk out of my binding strips. I'm going to just fold them in half. And do you notice that I'm not, like, worrying about creasing them too much? The reason I don't, some people really do, the reason I don't stress about creasing too much is because I'm not trying to get this to lay down really flat. I just need it to go 90 degrees. You know what I'm saying? I just need it. Is that a 90 degree angle? It is, right? Math. <laughs> and so I don't stress too much about creasing them. Now, in a tutorial video, I will always crease them because if I don't, somebody will say to me, somebody will, there's crafting police. Y'all know there's crafting police, right? Yeah. Is that fair? Like, oh, yeah. Like there's diet police and there's shopping police and there's like, oh, there's crafting police. So I will usually crease it down in a video. It doesn't make a difference. But when I'm making a, one for myself or something. <laughs> I just do this number. This gentleman is a trip. Now the other thing I will do <laughs> is I like to take a little bulk out. Okay. So this is important. Let's stop for just a second. This is my open fold, my open edge, and this is my folded edge. Okay. So from the fold, 
to the open edge, I'm going to make a little snip, just an angle cut. I'm not measuring it. I just want to angle from the open edge to the fold. So I create something like this. And for me, that gets bulk out of the edges. Okay. Well, this one wants to know will these fit in the card holders that they made for Christmas the other day. Card holders they made for Christmas the other day. I'm not sure what we're talking about. She says, don't these tags fit in the card holder we made at Christmas? Question mark. Um, you think in your desk, Teddy? Yes, they fit in yeah. there. Yes, they do. I had to think for a second. Yes, they fit in there. They sure do. Yeah, because I used the same tag, didn't I? So. No, I think I used Tag Builder on that one. But same size. Yeah. I think we did them all the same size because of the. I want to get eight from one piece, eight and a half by 11, so they're all pretty much the same size. Now, you may find this is overkill and you don't want to do this, but I find if I do it now, I don't have to stress about Tim it later. Tamitha said, I remember the days of writing down measurements on the fly. <laughs> oh, I need one more binding strip right here. Almost forgot it. Let's make another one. I need two more strips. Did you see how I didn't forget it? I only almost forgot it. Did you see that? Well, almost forgetting is not forgetting. That's right. I didn't forget it. I almost forgot it. Yeah. So I'm going to cut myself some more one-inch strips. And they're going to be three and a half wide, by the way, if you want to write that down. Strips. It would be fun for y'all to see how we... Like most projects that I create... I create them first from scratch, and then I go back and get measurements. Like, I don't sit down and go, I don't sit down and engineer the project first. I know that's shocking. <laughs> that I don't sit down and engineer it first. I usually sit down and kind of just cut, play, and I usually just use scrap paper. I usually use just scrap paper and just kind of play. And then once I've finished it, I back up and do the measurements for you guys. So... Interesting. Interesting. All right, I need to score this. This one will do. I do like to score my binding strips. Some people will just fold them in half, but I find scoring them really helps them to do what I want them to do, which is, you know, fold. All right, I'm going to do my angle again. Boom. Boom. Somebody said, did I mean three inches? Quite possibly. Did I? Okay, well, I'll correct it if I'm wrong. Hold on just a second. Yes, it's three inches wide, so yes, I did mean that. Jenny wants to know if this will be added to the blog. Ooh, is this blog worthy? Possibly. <laughs> Shannon is not blog worthy. It could be. If I get all the numbers right. It's not blog worthy, y'all. All right. Well, they're going to want to make everything you make, so have to Here's the deal. There's probably a better way to assemble this, but here's how I'm going to start. glue binding strip I like to take my fold and line it up to the edge of my chipboard just like so and kind of have them match each other and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply them all the way around the base again probably a better way to do this because typically what I do is I make it and then I come back and tell y'all avoid this or do this or you but, know what I'm saying but to me this is well this is how I cry this is gonna this sound is weird this, this is what, uh, this part of you is what blows my mind. This is what I do. The, I like doing this. Did I put it in my brain? Air. Yeah. And then just Well, I've seen it before. It. I've never, I've never made one and I've never watched a tutorial on it, but I mean, I mean, this it's is kind of straightforward creative, to me. What's creative going juices on? at We got a new flow. subscriber, a new subscriber, y'all. Let's welcome Lori to the Made It family. Welcome, Laura. Y'all give her some some claps, some clap claps. All right. Hummingbird said, Yikes. guess what? what? When I make something you made, I don't measure no way. Good job. Good job. No stress then. Okay. Come on now. All right. So there's that. Now, how do I want to do the side? Because I think I want to do those next. I think I'll put my strips on before. Do I want to do that? Yep. I'm gonna put my I'm gonna put my side strips on these first. So I'm gonna come right here. I still feel like I'm missing a strip somewhere. We'll find out. 
we'll run into it somewhere. Something will, something won't seal shut. You're getting a lot of applause. No, that's for our new subscriber. Oh well. Our new ask, subscribers getting lots of applause. Our new subscriber, Lori, I think her name was Lori. Did I read it right? L O R I, I think it was. Welcome. Welcome. If it caused stress, I would find a different hobby. Amen. That's not a hobby, right? All right, let's do these. Y'all be surprised how stressed folks get, though. Honest, I, it surprises me. Does it you? Well, not everybody's creative as you. It's not that. I know for me, it's very stressful because I'm trying to make sure I do everything just right. But there is no right. Well, there's you. There's. <laughs> there's so if I if I can't do it like you. There's a finished product is all there is, right? Just go back to the golf course with me. No. And think about that. No. There's no perfect. You don't want to think about um, that. Ginger gargle. You know why I don't do that? Because I don't like to mess with it. She's talking about using sticky tape, and you can use the sticky tape on these. But art glitter glue makes things so much faster for me. That's why I don't use it. So if you don't see me using it, that's the reason. This is, I don't have to cut and throw away strips, and I just do this. And listen, this works on every project I'm doing. Now I'm going to glue this to the side. So I'm just going to stand this up. Because art glitter glue closes this down. You can't beat it. Like, you can't beat how fast it is. So that gets my side in place. Boom. One side. Flip around. Let's do this side. You can use sticky strip, and I used to do it too. But with art glitter glue, you cannot beat this. Stick this in place, and I don't have to cut anything or anything. But again, do you. All right, and I'm going to rub that down. And now look, I've got all of these pieces in place now to put my fronts on. And I'm going to do it standing up. Why not? Right? Glue. You're doing it. Glue. Stand it up. Put this guy in place. Please fit correctly. <laughs> <laughs> Please be right. All right, I'm going to lay it down so I can smash. Art glitter glue is in stock, yes. But y'all better grab it because we've been looking at the weather. Check your temperature before you order it. The rule is this. If it falls below 40 degrees between you and us, we cannot ship it. Okay? And if you order it, Art Glitter Glue will not, we won't ship it if we catch it. We're not to the, we're not to the call in only at this point. We may be. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I bet we're getting close to it. It's very, very early for that to be happening. Babe, pretty cold in some places. We had to tell a sweet lady in Nebraska. Yep, northern Nebraska. Mm -hmm. She couldn't get Our it. Night times we're getting the 40s. As Look long as it don't get below 40. Look at there, Vin. Boom shakalaka. And now just, let's decorate it. And just, you know, on another <laughs> note. You're so impressed. On another note, it if works. you were making a guy thing, you could make that into a toolbox. Yeah, it'd be cute if you put a little strap across it and it's like, cool box. Not a strap. A strap would make it look like a purse. Okay. You'd have to put a piece of wood dowel in the middle. A handle. Make oh, a, a paper handle. straw would be cute. Cut a paper a straw, straw and glue it in there. Yeah. That'd be cute. All right, I'm going to decorate it. i got to find paper. I'm going to my secret stash. No, the store is not open right now. Ooh, Not Lumberjack open to Christmas. the public. Sorry. Do we have this? What is that? That is on order, but it's, I don't know if it's here or not. I'm using it. The second Lumberjack Christmas paper is on the way also, by the way. I'm being a rebel. Oh, it's already opened. All right, how do I want to decorate it? Let's see. Buffalo check? <laughs> Shocking. <laughs> oh, maybe I won't use buffalo check. I, don't. I said maybe. Oh, wow, this one's so good. Look at this one. Mm -hmm. Buffalo check. Maybe I won't use Buffalo Check. Maybe I'll use Buffalo Check snowflakes. Mmm. And wood. That would be an interesting twist. And wood. My favorite things. All right. Let's bring our trimmer back over. So I happen to know that these sides are two inches high, and I'm looking at my cheat sheet, by three and a half long. So I think I'll cut a piece that's one and three-fourths by two and three-fourths. One and three-fourths by two and three-fourths. So two and, let's say, one and three-fourths is here. One and three-fourths. 
and then two and three fourths. So I'll need two pieces like this. That doesn't feel right at all, and it's not. How'd I miss it? One and three fourths. <laughs> Look at that one, though. That one is correct. <laughs> How did that even happen? Did I say the numbers right and cut the numbers wrong? Three and one fourth. Three and um, one fourth. Annette wants to know, is there a way to avoid uh, getting clogs in your uh, fine metal tip? Uh, keep your pen in it, even when you think you don't need to. Put that pin in it all the time, all the time, all the time. She says sometimes the pin gets stuck, like it, the glue hardens on the pin. Yeah, you have to clean your pin off. What I do is just run my finger down my pin and pull any excess off. Um, you have to keep that pin cleaned off. You have to maintain it. You have to keep that glue out of there. The other thing is, I love the one ounce bottle. I love the one ounce. All right, what pad is that you're using? Lumberjack, but I think y'all bought it out at the sale and it's coming back. We only had a couple packs when the sale started. Yeah. They actually uh, released a new lumberjack. So they had two lumberjack pads this oh, year. Oh, really? How about that? The other one is a new release. It hadn't, I don't guess it's even been to the public yet, but it's on the way to us. Oh, it has, I'm sure. They usually show everybody a little early. Look, that's cute on the sides. Let's make our tags for the fronts. Okay. So I left my punch, my punch, I left my stamp on my Misty the other day because I knew, I told y'all I was going to be doing this. So I was like, I'm just going to leave it there because I'm going to stamp another one. Get that in there. Now, let's go to the scrap bin. Hello, scrap bin. I love the scrap bin. All right, let's cut down. Mm -hmm. Two and three fourths. Joan had a good idea. She says if you decide to use this as, as a money holder for a guy... You could put a deer head on the front and the phrase, the buck stops here on the back. Cute. Cute. The buck stops here. Shannon left us. She's like, I've had all I can take. I'm done. I'm out. I'm out. We're out of lumber dressing. I knew that we were, so. <laughs> that made in a good mood. Mamie Mame got lunch before the show. <laughs> yep. Mamie's not grumpy today. Okay. Hello, Ben. Okay. Okay. Here, Versafine. I left it out so I could use it because I'm like, I'm going to need my Versafine. Did you see it already? There she is. Here we go. Inking this dude up. What stamp set am I using? Are y'all going to ask me? I've got it right here. I just need to pull it over. I'm using tag it. Tag it. Tag it. All right, let's glue this down. What in the world? Let's just send this over. Now, somebody in the video said, I can't believe you didn't use your Misty for all of it. I don't, I like to use my Misty for something that I think I'm going to, that I might have to restamp if I don't do a good job. Something I'm going to, I just want the motion of this number, but I don't use it all the time. Like a lot of people probably think I do. I, I pull it out rarely. I'm a block girl. I like stamping with blocks, but this stamp in particular, because it's got some bold and some texture, sometimes it's good to use your Misty so that if you have to stamp twice, if you have to ink it up twice. But yeah, they whoever it was was like, I can't believe you didn't use your Misty for the whole thing. I don't. My favorite motion is a block. If I'm gonna, I will love it. But this one having bold image and pattern, <laughs> the two of you. Okay, this one. She's going to put some time out. Hey. Shannon put my entire... Your favorite move is... <laughs> Block them. <laughs> Shannon put the entire class in time out the other night. No, you threatened to. I threatened to. She... Th okay, y'all know my friend Rainy fires people. <laughs> Shannon puts them in time out. I don't... Why? They were doing something. Oh, they, they wouldn't stop typing. They started typing just a random word that you said, thinking it was something. The giveaway. And then we couldn't proceed until they stopped typing. And she was like... I'm going to put all of you in timeout if you don't stop typing. <laughs> Gets with, stopped. They stopped typing. They flat did. That's right. Nobody wants to be in trouble. And then the second, then the next word we told them to say was timeout. This is the one I'm using. It's from Tag It, and it has all of these cute little sentiments in it. Um, do I want to use one of these sentiments, or do I want to use Holly Jolly Christmas? Okay, so what's the chance that you could do one of these for, like, A2 cards or 5x7 sure. cards? Sure, sure. 
sure. You do the same thing I just did. I mean, no, obviously that was they easy want to follow. You to do it. <laughs> <laughs> and record it. With and put it up there with a real measure. Without all this junk. Oh, sorry, y'all. I hit y'all. Without all this junk. <laughs> I was talking to my microphone. <laughs> that was good. I missed it. I was talking to my microphone, Vincent. <laughs> I just slung my bracelet. <laughs> she Wait, said, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm out for she a second. Said, I'm sorry. I hit y'all. I thought, are you, you're apologizing to those guys? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> wait. We need so much to sleep around. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Silence is good. Oh, my goodness. All right, I got to come back. Make the comeback. Make the comeback. So, how about that, Misty? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Sorry, did somebody ask a question about the Misty? Because they're, I think so. How much is yep. the regular Misty? 60 bucks. $60 for the regular. The mini Misty is 45 Sharon, sadly, we don't drink. <laughs> that was funny, though, Vance. That was funny. Yeah, 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 it was. It was. I think I'm just going to do I made this so you can't return it since I made it. <laughs> Deep breaths. Deep breaths. Oh my gosh, that was funny. I'm sorry. Your face was funny. Like, who are you talking to? Uh, no one. Uh, uh, Don't. Just let me go. <laughs> okay. Let's put this on here. I might put a bow on here to make it cute. I don't know. What do you think? A bow? A bow. B, I promise you won't meet any more real people than us. <laughs> That's a bad thing sometimes, I guess. That was so funny. That was hilarious. Okay. I want this to go here. Now, I'll say something. Some people do the little handle across the top. I'm not going to do a handle because it's just going to sit on my desk. I don't really think it needs a handle. What do y'all, I mean, are y'all good with that, I should say? Because I just don't think I need it. Look. <laughs> Woohoo. Woohoo. Let's put some glue. Buffalo chicken wrap. Um, Mona wants to know, is there a record of all the stamp sets that we have purchased as I can't remember if I have that one or not, and I'm reorganizing my craft room and need to order it otherwise? You can go back through your orders on the website and check that way, or as you're reorganizing your craft room, um, write them all down. Uh, other than that, we don't if, have record. Or you can print out that list. We don't have a record of your purchase. We we have a record of your purchase, but it's the same way you do, yeah. just to go to your account and go through it. But we have the printout sheets, don't we? I don't think so. I don't have a printout sheet. Okay. Babs wants to know why we can't ship AGG in the cold weather. Because the company says that Arc Glitter Glue is temperature sensitive. It is. They don't say it. And it, if it ships below 40 degrees it will freeze and turn into cottage cheese basically not that you can eat and yeah, not the actual if it gets too hot it will change colors it does not lose its effectiveness but it will lose change color um so uh, we have we they ask that you not ship it if it's anywhere between me and the person i'm shipping it to it's below 40 degrees at night so we honor them and don't do it. So every year, we encourage people to stock up around this time of the year because it will not be too much longer and we will not be able to ship it. I'm going to stamp to and from, to and from. Because yeah. I think it'll be cute on the back. And I might even fill in who it's from. And they will not guarantee it and they will not honor it if, you, if somebody ships it to you and the temperature is bad. They're not gonna refund you money if it messes up. They're not gonna refund the money to me if it messes up, so. Yeah, there's an alphabetical stamp list on the website, but I don't know when it was upgraded, updated the last time. I think Tamitha did it last. Is Tam on? She's probably not now. Should I use a red pen? But I'll, I'll um, link this in 
and then maybe the ones that, on, that aren't on here, you can just add what you have to it, and then we'll see about trying to get this updated. Maybe they're not busy. It says, to my loves from Santa. Cool. And I happen to know what Santa's handwriting looks like because he leaves a note for my children every year, and I happen to know that's what his A's look like. Yeah. Every it, year he leaves them a note. Nicole, if you leave it by the window, it'll get jacked up. Don't it'll do it. It'll change colors uh, for sure, and it'll probably start working well. She says hers gets that way when she sets it in the window when it's cold. Yeah, don't do so that. So don't leave it. You need to make it's sure you keep it It's temperature sensitive in an envelope and in your craft area. Same thing. I think that's kind of cute. <laughs> that's cute. So my, so my, so in Minnesota, AGG will need flannel PJs. Yes. That would be cute, wouldn't it? <laughs> that would be so cute. Should I put a bow? You said yes to bow, but you always say yes to bow. It will separate Pat like paint, but you can shake it and shake it and shake it, and it'll come back together. Is Pat's name like paint? Pat like paint? Pat says, and it will separate like with paint. <laughs> And Pat, like paint, like that was her name. Somebody said there's four ounce, oh, on my bee, four ounce bottle of ice arrived, very watery. Is there a fix for that? Shake, 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 it, shake, 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 it, shake, shake, it, shake, it, shake, it. shake, shake. More than you think you should shake, 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 shake. Did I say it enough times? Shake till your arm is tired, then set it down and pick it up with the other hand and shake it till that arm's tired. That's Vinny's trick. He learned it. I thought that was interesting. Yeah, what? They sent us a bunch of bottles that got crack busted in the mail. They did. They didn't. They shit. That we had a shipment come in that got beat up. Yeah, it that, got they didn't damaged send in the mail. Yeah, and, and we decided to use them for. If you don't know, we close all envelopes with glue, all stamp yeah. club envelopes. So we decided to use them there. And Vince was like, "I think I can shake, shake, shake," and that's what he did. He shook them and shook them and shook them, and they worked. Yeah, and you can buy it on Amazon year round, but if it's cold, when you get it, it's going to be junk. You're just wasting money. Buy it now. Get it now. Let us get it to you, and you've got it. You don't need huge batches of it. I mean, you don't craft as much as me, half of y'all, surely. I mean, I craft, I do three projects a week, plus I use our glitter glue for everything, and you don't go through much. Let me, let me show y'all a cheater bow real quick. I've shown it before, so it's no big deal. But I want to do this real quick, so we'll take a break from talking for just a second, okay? Are we good? Are we where we can? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make, uh, I'm kind of going to accordion this ribbon. So I'm going to go here, folding it over, then I'm going to go back this way. And what I want to do here is I want to just line this up as best as I can for this tail and this tail to be about the same as my loop. I want to make sure you can see what I did. It's hard to describe that. Should I do that again? I think I probably should. <laughs> Don't call me Shirley. I love that. Okay, so here's what I'm doing. I'm going to take one end and just get this started and just kind of lay it kind of to the middle, making a loop. I'm basically folding this in thirds, okay? Then I'm going to bring this piece back and fold it where it's kind of laid over. See how I've kind of staggered the ribbon? But see how this tail's too long? I want to adjust it and get them about even, about like that. Okay, don't spend too much time. Just get it close to even. Then I'm going to take my tweezers, which is Vinny's favorite thing to call them, tweezers. Mm. And then I'm going to take some Baker's wine because I think this is a cute look. And just a strip of it and put it underneath all of my pieces, okay? And then I'm going to tie this in the middle. So for those of you who don't like to tie bows, this is a great cheater method, okay? Now... I'm not going to tie this super tight just yet. I'm just getting it to hold my bow in place because see how I'm not centered? This gives me opportunity to move this to the middle and adjust it and then pull it tight. So I'm just going to do like that and adjust it how I want it. Now the way I did this, one tail is going to go up and one tail is going to come down and that's the look of this bow. That's what you're looking for. I'm getting it adjusted and I ha still haven't tightened the center super tight. I'll tighten it now because I feel good about it. So now I make a knot in the middle, and that knot's going to lock my bow in. Once I've got that knot, that's my bow. And you could use it from either side. See how you can have a little baker's twine middle? I'm going to tie another bow here with this baker's twine. That's why I gave myself some extra. I always give myself extra anyway, but I wanted enough to do this. 
So I'm going to tie another bow. And again, I'm not going to tighten it. Oh, that looks pretty good. I'm not going to tighten it until I get it like I want it. So let's pull these back in just a little bit. And then let's pull this tight. And then I think this is such a cute look. The double bow. And it's so easy to get. Y'all watch me do it right there. Isn't that cute? I love it. All right. And then I'm going to art glitter glue this down. And the tip for art glitter gluing your bows down is to glue it and walk away. That's what I got to do. Put your glue down. Also, you need a good bit, but you don't need a pile of it. Just enough to get this in. And then you can take your tweezers again and grab it and hold it into place. And when you come back, it'll be dry. Not cool? We'll let it sit there a minute and it'll catch. It won't take long. No. It'll take a little longer because I did use more glue than you normally do. So it'll take a little longer for it to catch, but it doesn't take long. Or glue. Now you could hot glue that. Again, I'm just I'm too lazy for all that. That's cute. This is going to be cute on my desk. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? On my gift wrap Very table. Very cute. And then... Thanks, I needed it. <laughs> you mean make you want to? Let's see if I can do this and show y'all what it's going to look like. See, it's already caught. Pretty close to already caught. Let's do that again. Stick these down further so I can get them to stay. Okay, there. So I want to show you. So then you take all your tags that you made. Because surely I've already done as many as tags, right? Made 32 tags for four pieces of cardstock in an hour. <laughs> um, Karen wants to know, does art glitter glue work for gluing down lace and fabric? It does. It does. It's good glue. All right, so... All of mine don't have their bows on yet. Remember I told you I do that when I when I package them. But one thing I do think is you should put your baker's twine in. And if you have your ribbon, put some ribbon in. And if you want to put some little scissors. Bear scissors. Isn't that cute? A pen. Cute gift. You need a pen. A pen. Here's a pen. Sorry. A sister. Cute gift. A pen. Cute gift. I think this would be a cute gift, right? Let's see if I can take this off now. Yes. Yes, and I will show Pam you wants to know, are you going to do a live Christmas memories card kit? What? Which one is Christmas memories? Is it the one I've been wanting to do, the vintage looking one? I think this is really cute. I'm going to take this one out for now because it's ready to go in a package. But see, this will sit on your desk like this. That's really cute, y'all. I love that. I'm glad I made one of these. I've never done that before. But how easy, right? Crystal said those would make cute magnets for refrigerators. The tags? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they would. They sure would. This is cute. And tape. And tape. Good idea. You know that, oh my goodness, have y'all seen those little tiny mini tapes? No. Shannon, they're so cute. They're little tiny mini like scotch tape dispensers. That would be so cute in here. Mm. The little mini pins like we put in the post-it thing. Put a little mini pin, little mini scotch tape. Put a little glue in there. Put a little one ounce in there. Oh, what a cute little gift. That's 32, I mean, that's 30, 31 tags because one's laying right here. But giving somebody 31 tags as a gift, that's a cool gift, right? I love it. I love it. Very cute, very cute. And then when it sits on your desk, it looks like a little tag. You are right, Miss Joan. They won't get lost or spoiled. <laughs> True. It looks like a little tag sitting on your desk. So cute. I love that. I really do. I said a tag caddy. Well, that's, uh, Patty says she has to go. It's almost 5 a.m. in Australia. Ooh. And her unwell grandson has finally fallen asleep. Have a good week. Stay safe. Prayers for your grandson. I hope he's feeling better soon. And I hope he sleeps for like seven hours so you can sleep. <laughs> Everybody whisper. They have those tapes at the dollar store. They are so cute. Y'all look them on Amazon. I bet they, did you already look them up? No. She is Google, Google, Google. You should make this as a gift set for use to purchase to make. What is that? What is that? Say that again. You should make this as a gift set for use to purchase to make. Am I misreading that? Uh, I don't know. Yes. Let me show y'all. You could make it without that. Let me show y'all something. If you get this tag, it said, okay. I put these Christmas tags on mine. I mean, I put these Christmas boxes on mine. But if you don't, it's just, this is the best set. Let me show y'all this. We did this on purpose. It's not a Christmas set. It might seem like it because I use it at Christmas all the time.
but you get this big tag and this one right here you can make 16 tags from one sheet of cardstock using this little guy we did all that on purpose for you okay all you do is where you cut one sheet in half have i shown y'all let me show y'all real quick so this will make sense i bet we don't have any of these in stock and i'm gonna sit here and but it also works with the tag builder, except you don't get this little guy. But anyway, here's the thing about tagging. It should be back any day, so. The sentiment is, like, I made this so you can't return it. This gift is belated because I be late. <laughs> <laughs> this it's gift, funny how it still cracks us up after that. Every it. time I read it. This gift will never go out of style. Good thing because it's late. Um, I made this for you. Pretend you're impressed. I'm a re-gifter. Hope this wasn't from you. That's one of my favorites. This is on your this is on your wish list. No, this is not on your wish list. This one says you're gonna love this, and this one I got you something I always wanted. I love that one. That's one of my faves. But just if if you need this stamp set and you don't have it, just add it to your wish list, and then you should get an email notification when it comes back in. Stock. And you can put spoiler alert in this area before you stamp any of these. So like spoiler alert, I made this so you can't return it. Spoiler alert, you're gonna love this. Spoiler alert, this is not on your wish list. I think this is a great set. And you don't have to use it just for Christmas. What what I did was I took another stamp set, Holly and Heels, and did the Christmas one. And then and added that. Y'all also remember we just had the huge sale and we sold a lot of stuff. So a lot of stuff is probably out of stock and it's coming back as fast as I can get it back. Just put that up today. Hold on one second. They want to know what the, here it is. Wheelie full wagon. Wheelie full wagon is this little guy. And he's the little wagon and you have the gifts, the leaves, the hay bale, the pumpkin, the apples. And then you can also buffalo check your wagon. Ginger, action is on the way back. Should be here any day. Action. If you ever ask me what was our most popular set we've ever done, I think it's action. It would be real close, that and memory lane. Memory lane. I already ordered it. Is it gone too? <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Thanks, LK. Hey, that give LK gone. some claps. We got a Look, new subscriber. Look, when we have a big stamp set sale, stamp sale stuff blows goes. them out. Yeah. Blows so. them out. Um, also, thank y'all so much for your patience. We, Shannon and I, let me tell y'all what we've done. <laughs> Thomas, Jenna, Shannon, me, and Joe, okay? We've set up two packing stations. And when we're not filming a video, packing for Mary Make It, Responding to emails, we Shannon and I and them are packing, okay? Or we're doing it all at the same time. <clears throat> or all at the same time. Um, we packed on, what's today, Thursday, Tuesday afternoon from 3 o'clock to 6 o'clock. We did 187 packages. I was pretty proud of that. That's the fastest I think I've ever been involved in. Now, Josh and Thomas can do a lot. And then yesterday we got, we got all of the orders through Friday done. Today, to this afternoon, Thomas and Jenna work at night tonight. Actually, we have four working tonight. Thomas, Jenna, Josh, and Taylor are working tonight. And um, they will start Saturday. I bet tonight they'll get through Monday. Yeah. The, that crew will. And Joe has already... Um, it's already full. We kind of, we started a new system, which I really love. I guess this is for, this is after show talk, isn't it? I think yeah. it is. So let's go to the after show. How can we do the wording on our stamp sets in glitter? You can, if you have... Um, embossing powder there's a glitter embossing powder so you stamp it with embossing ink and then you sprinkle your embossing glitter on top of it and then you heat set it and that makes it permanent that's the only way i'm going to use glitter i'm not using glitter that falls off let me suggest something okay do your friends a favor don't glitter gifts you send them i promise you there's a larger amount of population that don't like to receive glitter than there is that like to receive glitter would you agree with that shannon yeah and i love the look of glitter but from afar Glitter, I mean, there's there's nothing like opening an envelope or opening something and glitter falling all over the place. Most people don't like glitter. So I would suggest heat embossing to make it more permanent. Maybe just heat emboss to get a shine. Um, but, I mean, should we do a poll? No. <laughs> I mean, think about it. Most people don't like glitter all over the house. Now, there are some people who love it, who love it. But it's the same, like... There's some people who love sand, not this girl. The, you see what I'm saying? It's it's just a thing. A lot of people don't like glitter, so <laughs> she loves sand. Glitter. This girl don't like sand. It's just kind of like that. So if you wanted to glitter them, I would suggest using foil, heat embossing, or heat embossing glitter. 
instead of just sprinkling on there. You can use a glue pad. You can use a glue pad, stamp it in a glue pad, sprinkle glitter on it. You're not ever going to see me do it because I can't handle it. I can't handle it. Gemma says, I'm a glitter girl, but my friend is a glitter has a glitter phobia. I get it. I get it. Um, <laughs> Bug says, I don't know why I own so much of it. Yay, I'm so glad you're so excited. For, let's talk about this in the after show. i tell you what, we're going to run to the after show real quick. If you don't know what the after show is, if you're meeting us for the first time today, in the after show we talk about whatever we want to talk about. We answer questions about any old thing. Today was a really relaxed crafter show too because I didn't have a clue how that was going to turn out. I really like how it turned out though. I'm pretty happy with this. So, hope you enjoyed that. Shannon said she's going to put together a blog post for you guys to give you the measurements. She's something else, ain't she? She's going to do that in her free time. Yeah. So, you might see it in about a month or so. In a month or so, we'll have this up for you guys. All right, we're going to head to the after show. Shannon has already put the link in for, nope, yes, she did. She already put the I link did. in for you. So, if you want to just head over there and start chatting, click on that link, start chatting. We're going to end this stream and head over. So, see you in just a second. Bye, guys.